AuditBase has the ability to create a role for users of the system. This allows for the rights of the system users to be standardised. This training video has been designed to assist departments in creating roles and creating new users. Creation of a new user in the database can only be done by a system administrator within AuditBase administration. To create a new role when you have existing users of the system, it is possible to select an individual and base the role on the rights that they have been assigned. It is possible to then edit the rights which have been assigned to the newly created role, ensuring that all rights assigned are correct. In System Administration, under User Rights and Setup, rights are split into eight sections and it may be necessary to make changes in all sections. Before the role is assigned to any other individuals, then the rights should be checked and confirmed as being correct for that particular role. Select the drop-down New User or Role and then identify what it is that you want to create. Identify the individual who you wish to create the role based on. This should be someone who has all the rights that their role requires and does not encounter issues. Once selected, a name for the role will need to be entered. This should pertain to the role in the department and not the title of the staff who will be using it for example, clinical staff or clerical staff. Select the Save button and the database will create the role. This can then be assigned to individuals within the database by selecting their user profile and then changing their role to the appropriate one. If you wish to use the profiles which have already been created by audit data, then this is done in the same way. However, select the roles which have not been created locally. If a new user is required, then it is possible to create them with the role attached and also create them as a resource by following the steps on the screen. Creating the user this way allows for all aspects of their rights to be covered. To make them available as a resource to other members of the department, then the resource setup will need to be set as default for all users. Where this is not possible, then the system administrator should select the individuals who need to have the new resource available and assign the correct rights. Once complete, press save and the new user will be created in the database and they will have been assigned the role appropriate for their use of AuditBase. This should be repeated for all users who have not been assigned their own logins and are active users of the database. In the User Rights and Setup screen, it is also possible to edit the name and title history for a user, should this be necessary. This ensures that any previous information saved under their login remains correct to their legal name and job title at the time of saving. However, any future information is correct for their new name or job title. If you have any questions or queries about this training video, then please contact the audit data support team appropriate to your country.